Hey, here you go, Ma- Sam. Let me, before you do that, let me say, Muhammad Chef, you know you're a liar, and I. I got it. That's the one. That's one. I, that's oh, the one I was going to. Oh, is it the same oh. comment? Is it him lying? Because he might have been lying yeah. in multiple comments. But I'm pulling up this one. He says, ahead, David Wood, you don't get it. When we pray, we see, Oh Allah, give blessing to Muhammad. Don't yeah. teach me Islam. Is that the comment you're looking at? Yeah. Well, that was one of them because he said, I won't debate Muhammad hijab. I'll bury hijab in his niqab. I just made a challenge to him, so tell him to debate me. But you want to address that? Glory to Jesus, because he's been running his mouth. Yeah. On my channel, he was behaving. This was the stalker I was telling you about. I don't mind him coming, and I pray the Holy Spirit will penetrate his heart and bring him to the feet of Jesus. Yeah, so, Sam, he's going to Sam, falsely accuse us, but go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm saying on this issue, this is one where, I mean, if he has memorized the Islamic prayers, yeah, he, yeah. he has to know that he is lying here. He has to absolutely exactly. know he, that That's he's lying. I'm getting upset with him. Yeah. And Muhammad Sheikh, listen to us. We're calling you out. Listen to us. In your five daily prayers, you do something called tashahud. Tashahud. And I want you to say yes so everyone can hear it. Do you not say in your tashahud when you pray in Arabic, you say "Assalamu alayka, ahiyu nabi." Assalamu alayka, ahiyu nabi. Oh, who wants to translate that? that? Arab speakers, yeah, yeah. Arab speakers, okay, yeah, translate that. Translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, okay, ju I, I just want them to confirm it. Even you, even you Muslims, even you Muslims who are honest, unlike uh, Muhammad Sheikh here, even you Muslims who who are willing to say the truth, tell us what that means. Yes. So let me repeat it. All you Arabic speakers, Muslims five times a day when they pray, they have to say tashahud. And part of that is, As-salamu alayka ahiyu nabi. What does that mean? What's it mean? So we already know what it means. They translated for us in English. It's in the Hadith. Okay, what does it mean? Come on, guys. Ara uh, Arab on. speakers. Arab speakers. Uh, tell us what. just translated. Michel El-Saif. He said, peace be upon you, O Prophet. Yep. Michelle Saif, you sure you know Arabic? They're going to say you're lying. They're going to say you're lying. Did you hear what the translation was? Here someone speaks Arabic. because goes, peace be upon you, O Prophet. And Masori, uh, Masori, Masori Ori just uh, confirmed it too. Okay, why did you lie to us, Muhammad Sheikh, when five times a day you speak to a dead man who is buried in Medina, God knows where you're at, and you say to a dead man, some in some distant place who's in his grave, who's been there for over 14 years, you speaking to him, Assalamu alayka ahiyu nabi. Peace be upon you, O Prophet. You're talking to a dead man in your prayer, five times when you pray, in your prayer, part of your prayer, you communicate to a dead man as you're communicating to your God. And you're lying to us? You think you're going to get away with it? Yeah, and, and again, that's my problem. If Muhammad Sheikh wants to say, sorry, I'm just a Muslim in name only, or I just became a Muslim three days ago and I don't know anything, or yeah, I memorized the prayers, but they were never translated for me, and so I never have any idea what I'm talking about. If you want to say that, that's, uh, that's fine. But if you actually know your prayers, if you actually know your prayers... Yeah, so George, yeah, George here said the same thing. All the means. Arabic, yeah, all the Arabic speakers are confirming it. You see it, right? Yeah, they're actually putting it there in the in the Arabic means peace be upon you, O Prophet. And he's got the he's got the Arabic there. So, uh, do we have a response from Muhammad Sheikh? He went silent all of a sudden. Supposed to uh, normally Muhammad Sheikh. Uh, again, what happened? Shake again, and bake, baby. Again, shake and bake. Uh, I mean, you would expect you would expect him to say. Did he say anything? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> hang on, hang on. This is hilarious. Look. <laughs> Islam is the truth responded and Islam is the truth Islam is the truth said peace be upon you O prophet I am Arabic speaker Sam stop lying you don't know Arabic so okay so it's peace be upon you O prophet and I'm it, a liar okay. isn't that exactly what you said yeah I just said that yeah so but I'm lying again so oh. you're, you're lying for saying the exact same thing unless he says you're lying about saying peace be upon you what are you saying Islam is the truth are you saying that peace be upon you O prophet is not the correct translation because if so then we have to regard you as a liar just like muhammad sheikh because again if muhammad sheikh uh, just became a muslim yesterday he can tell us that he just became a muslim yesterday and he doesn't know what he's saying if he's been a muslim for a while and he's been reciting this daily over and over again and he's been saying over and over again peace be upon you O prophet and he and then he comes over here and says no you guys are lying we only ask allah and we say oh allah by the way, guys, notice notice the difference here because this is actually important, right? If I say to God during my prayer, if I'm if 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 I'm speaking to God in my prayer and I say, "God, please bless my grandma." That's one thing. I'm talking to God about my grandma. 
If I say, oh, grandma, I really hope things are going well for you, there I'm talking to my grandma. Now, I'm not talking to God about my grandma. I'm talking directly to my grandma. When Muslims speak directly to Muhammad, peace be upon you, they're not saying, oh, God, please send peace on Muhammad. Please bless Muhammad. Or as they should say, Oh, Allah, please pray for Muhammad, as Muhammad Hijab would say. Allah, please pray for the Prophet. Not they're, too. Yeah, they're speaking directly to Muhammad. Peace be upon you. They say this during their prayers, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, so what, what is our friend Islam the Truth saying? Is he, calling, is he calling Sam a liar? And by the way, all the Arabic speakers here, is he calling them all liars? If so, that is absolutely despicable. By the by the way, David, the full expression of the prayer, and I, I even brought up the hadith. I just gave the part that's relevant, but it's he goes here. This is Muhammad teaching them. As-salamu alayka ayyu nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So literally, it's peace be upon you, O Prophet, and the mercy of God, Allah, right, and his blessing. That's what it literally, that's what they're saying. But the relevant part is when it says, peace be upon you. It doesn't say, oh, Allah, peace be upon. Guys, it's your prayers, dude. Why are you lying? Why are you lying to us? I don't get it. Now, now, now guys here, uh, you non-Muslims who are watching, and you mus and you honest Muslims who are watching, you honest Muslims who are watching, J just think about this. We, this whole time we've been talking about what a bunch of liars your apologists are, people like Dida. They, they have to know what they're reading. They lie about it, right? Uh, we talk about what a bunch of liars the early Muslim community was. I mean, they're, they're, they're literally burning up manuscripts and stuff like that to try and cover up the evidence. Uh, Muslims all accuse all their early historians of being liars, and you can point to any early Muslim historian and other people are calling him liars. Uh, they, they, we know they were lying about lots of stuff, like making up miracle stories and so on. So we know that we're dealing with tons and tons of liars, and here we are today, and we ask something, we, we ask something simple. Hey, well, why, do you, why do you talk directly to Muhammad in your prayers? No, we don't do that. Yeah, we do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we, we know you do it. We know yeah. you do it. We well, can actually, lying, we can actually, we can actually quote. No, you're, you're just don't try to teach us about our religion. You're lying. No, we're not. You are. Why would you? You can't even be honest. You don't even have the the slight bit of integrity to be honest about what you say in your prayers. Are you kidding me? All right. So, all right. Now, Muhammad Sheikh is back. He said he was timed out. So, Muhammad Sheikh, do you agree we're telling the truth? Because he said I was timed out. I guess someone timed it out by accident. Okay. Do you now agree we're telling the truth? We even took extra time just for you because. We want you to get saved. Yeah, we're out of here. Darkness of Islam and fall in love with Jesus Christ. Even though you get me upset by lying and then accusing me of lying, but still we want to get you get to see you saved by the power of the Holy Spirit. So was I speaking the truth? Was David speaking the truth, Muhammad Sheikh? We already went longer than usual, but were we telling the truth? Yeah, who was lying, us or you? It was one, it's one or the other. It's you or us. He said, my bad. I guess he means he admits we're telling the truth. Okay, he said, my bad. Guys, I think that's an admission on his part. Yes, we're telling the truth. Pray for him. He's not far from, com from coming to the truth in Jesus Christ our Lord. Good. At least you're honest to say my that bad. That is. Right. And, and, and guys, guys, I can, res I can, I can respect yeah. that if he just wasn't, th if he was thinking about something else and wasn't thinking clearly about what they actually say in their prayers, uh, actually fine with people acknowledging that they made a mistake. So ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind what he just acknowledged uh, what he just acknowledged, uh, he acknowledged that Muslims do speak directly to Muhammad during their prayers, right? We are told this is the religion of pure monotheism, and Muhammad actually had his followers speak directly to him in their prayers. So when you see them, now notice, this is a religion where they it's free from idolatry, from idolatry, free from paganism, and uh, anyone who's actually following the religion bows down every day, he on said, you're speaking the truth, David. On five Muhammad different occasions. Said David was speaking the yeah. truth. So yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. He just said it. Muhammad, he goes, David was speaking the truth. Amen. He got convicted. He said it. Guys, he said it. That's good. Glory to Jesus. And, um, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I, had you, I wanted you to see that. Yeah, so here you have a religion where they bow down to this big cube, and they travel there to walk circles around this cube, and they bow down to it, and they go and kiss this black stone, and they speak to their dead prophet over and over again every day. But this is the religion that's free from idolatry and paganism. Ladies and gentlemen, just keep that, just keep that in mind as we, as we close out.